My name is Adam and this is All The News. And I thought I would show you some interesting news today. This is coming uh, from the Daily Mail and they're saying Johnny Depp is set to ruffle feathers at the Woke Brit Awards. Can you imagine? Uh, after he was nominated three times, one, two, three, three times, amid fears that female artists will refuse to share the stage after AH legal battle. Oh, can you believe it? Uh, it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how much you win the trial. There's still going to be keep going on the woke activists. Anyway, what they're saying. Uh, this could set the cat among the pigeons at the increasingly woke Brit Awards. I hear that Hollywood star Johnny Depp, uh, scourge of feminists, <laughs> scourge of feminists, since his sordid court case with ex-wife A.H., featured claims of D.A. has made the long list for not one, not two, but three music prizes. Thanks to his collaboration with veteran English guitarist Jeff Beck. There he is down there. Uh, Depp would liven up an increasingly dull event. Yeah, that's the problem. The Brit Awards is so tedious now. The ratings are through the floor. Uh, no one cares what's going on. It was a complete snooze fest last year. They're losing, uh, they're losing the audience, desperately losing the audience. And if, they, if they're going to keep going with this wokeism, they're just going to be left on their own talking to themselves. Uh, but maybe they can bring in Johnny Depp. So what's going to go on? Uh, Johnny Depp would liven up an increasingly dull event, but the AH case means female artists would probably refuse to, st to share the stage, an insider tells me. Do you think so? Do you think is the, that's what they're going to do? Um, I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. I kind of doubt it, because that would be outrageous. He's got his 12-string uh, semi-acoustic. Yeah, semi-acoustic. Uh, on the big stage. Uh, in June, Depp, uh, 59, not 56, was awarded 10.35 million in a verdict delivered after his legal team successfully argued that AH's uh, Washington Post op-ed in which he accused him of DA was defamatory, a meaning that it was untrue. <laughs> Not only was it untrue, but she was punished with uh, five million pounds, five million dollars, pardon me, in uh, punitive damages. So, uh, I mean, what more do you need to do? What more do you actually, what more can you do to prove your name is clear to so, uh, I mean what what can you do you can't you win a you win a court case still not good enough the other side gets punished for lying still not good enough um well fine um ah did not name Depp publicly in the piece ah oh, yeah but she did and it was by implication and she said it was in 2018 that she became the face of uh, da and uh, it was obviously 2018 that uh, Johnny Depp was found liable in the UK court so those two linked it um, to him so that means nothing to be honest during the defamation trial supermodel Kate Moss bless her took to the stand to defend her ex-boyfriend who she dated from 94 to 98 um, and uh, good old AH uh, said in court that uh, she was worried that she was going to be pushed down the stairs like Kate Moss and that opened the door for the uh, the opposing team to bring in Kate Moss and uh, <laughs> have them completely refute uh, that concept. Uh, she delivered a sensational blow to uh, AH by squashing the actress's claim that Depp once pushed uh, the supermodel down a flight of stairs. Yeah, indeed so. There you go, frowny face. You may well frown. You may well frown indeed. <laughs> yeah, he's not frowning anymore. Uh, during her testimony, AH referred to having a. I was going to say AH then. Uh, she referred to having listened to uh, allegations that Depp had once shoved Moss down a flight of stairs, but Kate Moss said she fell down a flight of stairs and uh, Johnny Depp helped her because that's what you do as a decent human being. Um, yeah, so all that stuff is irrelevant, to be honest. So, what are they saying? Uh, Johnny's potential inclusion at the ceremony at the O2 Arena in London in February. Oh yeah, let's have a little look. So it's uh, this is the Brit Awards 2023, and it's uh, 11th of February 2023. That's when it's going to be held. It's going to be in the O2 Arena. There's the O2 Arena. This is the uh, the link on the O2 Arena website. Date's been confirmed uh, as da -da -da -da, 11th of February. Live from the O2 Arena, broadcast on ITV and ITVX, 30th time. The ratings are really bad, so they need to do something. They really need to do something. And as we've seen with the MTV uh, VMA Awards, Johnny Depp is a massive draw to, uh, to these things, to these events. So they can either uh, woke it up with their wokeivism and go down, the, uh, go down the pan, or they can bring in Johnny Depp 
and uh, have some people people actually want to see. But, you know, I'm not there to uh, give them guidance. What's my worth? What's my ideas worth these days? Uh, not much, it seems. <laughs> but then, then again, nor are theirs, because they're losing readers and viewers by the second. Saying down here, Johnny's potential inclusion at the ceremony at the O2 Arena will send shivers down the spines of executives. Have they got spines? Have they got, are they not slugs? They're not uh, invertebrates, as it were? Uh, spineless cowards? Is that not what they were? Uh, or am I thinking of something else? I think I'm thinking of something else, uh, maybe. But uh, it will send shivers down the spines of the executives at ITV, which is scre screening the event. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, the broadcaster has become more politically correct, uh, that means woke, under Chief Executive Caroline McCall, former boss of The Guardian. Oh, good Lord. Good, that explains a lot. Uh, that explains everything you need to know right there. That little sentence right there. Former boss of the most left-wing paper you could possibly find. Uh, <laughs> that explains uh, a lot. Um, who presided over the departure of stars such as uh, Piers Morgan, Eamon Holmes. Morgan left the channel after refusing to apologise to calling the Duchess of Sussex a liar. See, you're not allowed to tell the truth. Not allowed. It's, uh, it's frowned on. Um, at this year's ceremony. The organisers abolished gender categories. Of course they did. Of course they did. Because, you know, there's no such thing as male or female these days. Everyone's some amorphous, genderless, I don't know, neutered. <laughs> I don't know what we're meant to be. Uh, obviously not true, but, you know, uh, we've got to pretend because of the Wokies. They, <laughs> where's the Wokies? Because of Guardian readers, we've got, to, we've got to pretend there's no such thing as men and women anymore. Uh, somehow. So it's, um, what do they say? The organisers abolished gender categories, right? Such as best male and best female artists. Yeah, right. So they've got rid of that. So now we've got one lump together uh, category. So they've halved. They've halved the opportunities. Uh, and they say this is going to be inclusive by halving the opportunities. And relevant, relevant to a very, very, very small minority of people. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. And this is why no one cares about it anymore. Uh, pop Smith, Sam Smith, oh, Paul, sorry, pop singer Sam Smith, who identifies as gender neutral, you can't be gender neutral, you're either one or the other, has previously said, music for me has always been about unification, not division. Um, I don't know about that, mate. I do not know. I look forward to a time where award shows can be reflective of the society we live in. Hmm. Brit Awards used to be known for debauched behaviour and people were getting drunk and having a good old time. And uh, Deputy Prime Minister John Prescott had water poured all over him by the band Chumbawamba. Do you remember Chumbawamba? They did a song, um, I'll have a whiskey drink, I'll have a lager drink, I'll have a vodka drink, that one. Um, this year's ceremony was dismissed as a snooze fest hosted by comedian, uh, politically correct comedian, Mo Gilligan. Can you imagine? Can you imagine each of these jokes, so-called jokes? Him like, oh my good God. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah. I mean, that's why people are just bored to death of being told what they're allowed to say, think, do by Guardian readers. They just really are sick of it, to be honest. Um, so let me know your thoughts and uh, your hopes, your dreams, your ambitions. And uh, yeah, you can join the membership and there's a super thanks. And I think that's about everything. Oh, I've got a new book coming out on Amazon. Can't believe what I've just said, but yeah, I've just done that. And uh, I'll show you more about that later. And I will catch you guys later.